Hi guys, I want to give you another quick tip today. I've created this piece a few days ago from paper clay and um, I was absolutely amazed to know how quickly this piece was built. I used some regular, just plain old paper clay. The clay rested for a few days so you can see that on the inside of it, it started changing color. The tip that I want to give you today is how to store your paper clay because if it sits for a few days it's going to start looking like this and very soon from now it's going to lose its power. So what I do is I save and store my pieces dry like this for a few days. I've stored it dry and when I need it I just literally roll it up into a sheet of wet fabric. Oops, and there I'm messing on my floor a sheet of fabric. In this case, I used a towel, and it's going to sit for about an hour. And in an hour's time, it will be ready for me to roll it out, which is exactly what I did when I created this piece. If you compare the thickness of this uh, to this, you can tell that I once the piece was soft and wet again, I just squished it right through my slab roller and I made it thin enough like this and there you got it. I rolled it out very thin and I created this piece very quickly. Now, for a last second I want to give you an idea. You can see there on the bottom I've got the clay not as even as I would like for it to be. So the simplicity of this is I'm taking a wet piece of clay and I'm just going to add it there. Now guys, don't be fooled. This is porcelain. The making of porcelain paper clay is just as simple as any other clay. But porcelain's got a mind by its own. The minute that this gets fired, the paper will start evaporating at about maybe two, three hundred degrees. It will start making some smoke. The minute that there's a fire going on in the fire, in the kiln, uh, and then after that, the regular porcelain characteristics will kick back in. You can get more on Understanding Porcelain by Antoinette and it's available on Teaching Art.